Hi, this is Kwavi from Kwavi.com and I'd like to welcome you to my video blog this week. Today we're going to be talking about writing your way to a healthier you. Before I begin, I'd like to share a quote from you, from, uh, with you from Dorothy Corkville Briggs, which describes growth. She describes growth as not a steady progression, it's not always forward and it's not always upward. It is instead, sometimes, three steps backward, maybe a few steps forward, maybe going around the bushes, and possibly standing still. So with that quote, I'd like for you to be open to the fact that when you're trying to make changes to either lose weight or create a healthier you, there might be times when things might not go as well as you would like, but please do not get discouraged. Please do not stop. Please keep doing or making those steady steps going forward because guess what? In the long run, you're going to get to your goal. You really will, if you keep on going, that is. With my clients, I always believe in baby steps because I believe that it's kind of similar to like building a house. You put one brick on top of another and eventually you have the house. But it takes time. It's not overnight. And I always tell my clients, if you're looking for overnight success, it's not going to be with me. I don't work with my, my um, method does not entail overnight successes with losing weight or adopting a healthy lifestyle. For me, this is a lifestyle. This is what I do. I live it. And I show my clients how to live that way too. So back to writing your way to a healthier you. When my clients first come to see me, I always ask them, what's your day like? What do you normally eat? And sometimes I get clients that say, well, I really don't eat that much. And I tell them, that doesn't mean anything to me because not eating much doesn't really tell me what at all, what, what you're really eating. And when you say you don't eat that much, it's a very relative term. What might not be much to you might be so much for someone else and vice versa. So I always encourage them to write down everything they've eaten for at least a seven day period in a food journal. And sometimes I do get resistance because I'm sure some of you are thinking, I have to write down everything I've eaten. But it's a good way to self monitor and also a good way for you to make yourself more aware of what you're eating. And I'll tell you this, a few clients have been very surprised when they look back to see what they've eaten, they're like, really, I ate that much? And in other cases, they realize, oh, I haven't eaten that much. So it is a very good way for you to find out exactly how you eat, what you're eating. And another thing that I normally try to find out from my clients, I like to find out how they feel after they eat. It's very, very important because the feelings associated with what you're eating can determine if you're eating for physical hunger you're eating for emotional hunger and also I also encourage my clients not to have lofty goals it's great to have big dreams and big goals but when you're trying to lose weight or adopt a healthy lifestyle I like to tell them to think of them as little baby steps incremental steps that grow over time so this is what I want you to do this is your homework I want you to write down every single thing that goes into your mouth for the next seven days yeah seven days doesn't matter if it's gum candy leftover food whatever anything that you eat needs to be put down in that journal and I'd like you to record it for seven days and you know take a look at it and see what you think maybe there might be some surprises maybe not but it's just a great way to sell it's a great way to self monitor and a great way to start losing weight if that's your goal or getting healthier now, if you still need help in achieving a healthy lifestyle, I do offer free mini coaching sessions. They are 15 minutes, and I'm sure you have 15 minutes. And during that session, we tackle one goal of yours, and I give you practical steps in order to achieve a solution to the problem that you've presented to me. I hope you've enjoyed my video blog today, and I look forward to hearing from you. All right, take care. Bye-bye.